Hello, here we are with a dynamic psychologist that takes data very well on the iPad. Can you tell us how you're doing that? Yeah, sure. I need to collect um, observation data on students quite often. And uh, previously we'd go into the classroom and just kind of uh, do some tally marks on a sheet. Um, the challenge with observations is to make them meaningful in terms of getting good um, quantitative data, not just qualitative data. And um, so we kind of were able to do that um, by hand, but since we've had the iPad um, and a fantastic program that we can use or an application that we can use on it, um, that's been a lot easier to capture good data for observations. Very cool. Can we take a peek at that? What's the name of it again? Um, Behavior Lens. Behavior Lens. All right. Okay. And uh, so it's a very easy program to use. Um, I can set up a new observation. I can say what kind of observations I want to do. Interval, frequency, duration, antecedent, behavior, consequence okay. type of recording. Um, so you bring this in there into the observation with you into the classroom and you, yeah. you enter the data in this way. Right, and I just walk right into the classroom. Okay. And, uh, and, I, and as I'm watching the student, I, this moves along in real time and I just check. Um, this happens to be an on-task, off-task interval recording. Okay. So every 15 seconds I um, check if the student is on task or off task. Very cool. This is the student and this is the target peer. And um, then I can make notes about what I'm seeing and what the off task behavior is looking like for the student. Great. How do you get that data off of the iPad then to use it in your reports? Right. And so then there's a Oops. What view else? data button right View here. data. Okay. And um, I actually want them to show notes and show mm. about the typical peer. And um, it will generate mm -hmm. a report for me about this student, and it gives me charts oh, wow. and percentages, um, not just this student happened to be on task the entire observation, and that's terrific, but it also gives me percentages of what activities the student was doing um, throughout the observation. Very nice. Here's the peer who was off task for 17% of his time, and it tells me what behaviors that's, that peer was doing during their off task time. And here it breaks it down into a little bit more detail. So I can really get excellent quantitative data on a student observation that is meaningful. Then when I import this into my report, I can... Now, I don't have a wireless down here in my office, but when I'm connected to the wireless Internet, I can um, send it, email it to myself, and then I can um, drop it right into my report. And so then my report um, captures that uh, observation data and... I can connect that into uh, all the other data that I've collected in the report already and makes the observation much more meaningful and powerful. Great. How hard was it to learn this? Well, not very hard at all. I'm not really super tech savvy. Um, so you just uh, brought me the iPad and put on the program. The program is really intuitive. Um, and so I was able to just maybe take a half hour beforehand and just sort of walk through it and press buttons and see how to set it up how I wanted it. and. Um, and then I just, it really was a half hour before I did the observation and I felt like I could do it. Wow. Well, very good. Thank you for sharing.